Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to add film grain to your footage in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. Alright, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, I'm going to show you how to add grain to your footage. We are on the color page um, and basically I've corrected that footage already, I've color corrected and I will just like to add some grain to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit option S to add a new serial node and here if I go over to open FX, I can just tap grain and I will add the film grain effect. I really don't understand why people are using overlay and stuff like that because if you're using DaVinci you have a great film grain uh, effect directly from the color page and it can give you a lot of flexibility to build and create exactly the kind of grain that you want. As you can see right here you get basically different uh, kind of grain preset. You can go with 8mm, a bunch of 8mm, 16mm and 35 millimeter. But the good thing about it is that you can also create your own grain and be really specific about it. So right now, sometimes it can be hard to check it and to build your grain directly with the footage. So to see a bit more what you can do, you can just basically toggle that thing grain only. And here you have a great image that gives you a bit more clarity on what you're doing. If you want the grain to be a bit bigger, if you want the strength to be stronger, you can just adjust all those things and really build the kind of grain that you want. One thing to keep in mind, it's the same thing as noise reduction. Do that at the end because it can be really taxing on your machine. So always do the noise reduction and the grain at the end. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have some trouble to play it back properly if you don't have a really good system. Uh, that's just my recommendation. And to be honest, for me, they work hand in hand. When I denoise, I always add a bit of grain to it after because I want to bring back some texture because usually when you're denoising, you're gonna have really, really soft edges and everything. And I like to bring a bit more grain after so I can bring more texture to my image afterward. There is a lot of things that you can adjust to really get the look that you want. So just try that out for yourself. And if you're unsure and you don't want to mess up, simply use the template, you know, a 16 millimeter, a 35. Uh, if I have to go with something that is really low key, I will usually go with something like a 35. And if I want something that is more uh, pronounced, I will go with a eight millimeter. But that's pretty much how you go about it. I hope that was useful. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe See you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.